Coach Marcus is nowhere to be found. Damon and JR are battling it out before the game of their lives. And Auntie Amara finds herself back in the spotlight. What's good, y'all? She gets this Erica Bain coming to you right here on Erica Bain TV with another All American Homecoming video. In this video, we're breaking down the synopsis for the season finale, episode number 13, titled Irreplaceable. And without further ado, let's get into the synopsis. Meant to be, as Homecoming Week continues, Simone grapples with her role on the tennis team, and Thea receives some upsetting news. With Coach Marcus nowhere to be found, an interim coach steps in, which creates conflict for Damon and JR as they try to win their most important game. Keisha throws herself into raising funds for Brinkston in the hopes of helping to keep her chosen family together, while Cam makes a decision that could have major consequences. Meanwhile, Amara finds herself back in the spotlight with a surprising career opportunity. All right, y'all, this is the season one finale, and as of the time of recording this, I'm recording this on May 5th, which is before episode 11 premieres. We have yet to get the green light from the CW and Warner Brothers TV on season two, but we are going to get a season two. I already know it. It's already on its way to us. In the meantime, let's keep continuing to do the digital work in these streets and tweet Hashtag All American Homecoming, hashtag Renew All American Homecoming to Warner Brothers TV, to the CW, as well as to Warner Media. If you haven't already, check out some of my social media posts, IG, Reels, TikTok, Twitter, where I actually did a video and I went up to the Warner Brothers Studios and I told them that we needed a season two. You can go ahead and reshare that as well as a part of continuing to amplify this message and demanding that we get a season two. Be sure to follow me at ericavane.com on all of your favorite social media sites. But it's coming. We're going to continue to do the work. It just hasn't been announced yet. And in the meantime, between time, let's talk about this synopsis because there's so much happening. I am stressed already, y'all. Okay, so Auntie Amara is back in the spotlight because she has a surprising career opportunity. I think that she's going to get offered something specifically at Brinkston. I'm hoping because after all of the H-E double hockey six that they have put this lady through, they need to give her some type of promotion, make her a dean of something because they literally have just been dragging her through the mud, allowing for Erica, that random alumni, to exact her revenge for her sister and just all of the other foolishness that has been coming out. I think that if Auntie Amara is going to win and she gets a new career opportunity, opportunity then I definitely think it could be something big at Brinkston but then also like that's just like my hopes that kind of could probably not be the case if Brinkston is at risk for closing so we haven't gotten full understanding of like how Brinkston is at risk or is being compromised but in this synopsis we see Keisha's throwing herself into raising funds for Brinkston in the hope of helping to keep her chosen family together so are we about to see that Brinkston might have to close like are we struggling with funding are we struggling with accreditation what's actually happening and if that's the case then maybe Auntie Amara is getting an opportunity outside of Brinkston which could be with like a newspaper like a local newspaper a local or regional news station her being you know a journalist or maybe even some type of syndicated national news correspondent or something I'm not really sure I'm really grasping at straws right now when it comes to that but hopefully whatever she does it will still be able to tie to Brinkston and be part of the thing that help save Brinkston right now, Cam makes a decision that, that could have major consequences. And at first glance, y'all, I was thinking like this might have something to do with Keisha and Cam because Keisha is taking the steps that she needs and going to therapy and trying to get comfortable with commitment so that she can be with this boy. But part of me really feels like that's not it. I feel like he's going to make a decision when it comes to football. And we know that he's been riding the bench and not playing. He has the brain aneurysm that he has chosen not to get surgery on. And then he's also singing with the singing group on campus. But I could totally see him trying to make a rash decision to go back out on the field which we know could be very very um detrimental to his health so i think that we're probably going to see something when it comes to cam and football and him making a decision which could kind of be a regression from the growth that we've seen him have so far but still be true to like him not being able to walk away or give up on football as easily as we would have liked him to damon and jr have conflict as a new interim coach steps in because coach turner is nowhere to be found sir please be okay like 
the fact that he went off his meds is now spiraling and snapping at people and doing the absolute most is already stressing us out but now he has completely gone missing and i'm thinking that auntie amara is going to be the one that has to go find him and in the meantime in between time jr and damon are having conflict about it i'm hoping that jr is not like trying to assert himself as a leader or captain because sir you quit on this team and you're really back by the skin of your chinny chin chin so you need to go ahead and relax damon can go ahead and step up and be the leader of the team because he's been doing the work he's been there he has grown he has learned and he's literally doing everything that you haven't so i'm gonna need jr to be able to be a follower and stop you trying stop trying to be so much of a leader because sir you ain't got it whatever the little conflict is hopefully they are able to resolve it really quickly because i would love for them to win this most important game that they have versus losing it because all of this remember is tied to the the program's viability at the school so if this game is like the most important game then maybe this is one of the games that's going to be an indicator of if the school cuts the funding for the baseball team or not so they really don't have no time to be beefing with each other they need to figure it out and they need to figure it out now now this will also be their homecoming week and simone is grappling with her role on the tennis team i think she's still trying to climb the ranks and make it to like the number two spot behind thea because she really 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 wants to compete at that level which is perfectly fine i would love for simone to take a little bit of pressure off because she has improved so much over such a very short amount of time and right now she's number eight on the team which has her on the first string roster and she is doing doubles with thea so it's not like she's not making any progress and she's not competing at a very competitive level like high-end level I could also see Simone throwing herself into tennis to distract herself from what's happening in her personal life so I think that that's what we're going to see play out in this season finale and now Thea received some unsettling news I have no idea what this is going to be but I pray to God it has nothing to do with Dia okay like Damon do not stress this girl out do not give this girl problems just make her happy make her smile make her feel protected and loved and let that be it that be all like maybe it has something to do with her family maybe her grandmother might be sick or might pass and she has to deal with that and it sends her to a very emotional place and makes her unsettled not that I want to wish any of her family members to go away or to pass but I'm just praying that it's something that's more in line with Thea's history or her character development outside of these new opportunities friendships and relationships that she's developing like I would love to know more about Thea in that way and then see how she's able to handle that and us not get you know dia strife before we have fully been able to set sail and really enjoy the goodness the deliciousness that is one of our new favorite ships okay so yeah y'all if you would like to read the synopsis for yourself of course i have it posted on ericavane.com it'll be linked in the description box down below as well as the cards above and you can go ahead and read it for yourself as well as all of the other synopses for this entire season ericavane.com could be your new digital destination to stay up to date on all of your favorite television shows and the characters that you love on them so go ahead and check it out i have it posted there for you now and i would love to know what your thoughts theories and predictions are for this season finale how are you interpreting the things that are in the synopsis what do you think that they mean i cannot wait to check it out actually i'm heading to the comment section right now to read and respond to your comments and if you're a real one you made it all the way to end of this video i gotta show you some extra special real love and put four football emojis in your comments so that i know that you're that real one and i got you i got you on this reply it's your good sis erica vane i will see you in my next video bye